it's a review week, so see if you can find it in your notes somewhere. <laughs> Let me get my attendance roster. Where is that at? Okay, where is the attendance at? Okay, so there's Aaliyah, uh, I think I just saw Archie. Hey, Aaliyah. Hey, Kanesha. That was uh, Archie. I, I thought I saw hey. her. All right, so make sure your cameras are working, your microphones are working, and get set up with two screens so we can start on today's assignment. Okay, two more minutes. I got the students that are here listed. All right. Okay, so let me move out of this. We'll come back to that later. Um, so you want to have your screen side where sized where you have one side is going to be pretty much um, your Edsby logged in. The other one is going to be make sure you're in your Gmail. So I'm switching screens so you can see that. Okay. And uh, I just went to Google Docs. That's all I did. I'm opening up uh, the blank document. And um, the starting parameters, just to get you guys going. And I'm sorry, guys guys and gals. I'm trying to be copacetic to get you students going. Let's just do a universal term. I believe that's going to be due now. And uh, luckily for you guys, we're coming towards the end of the quarter. So you're just going to name it. This is a review, basically, but name it Do Now and then the date. So it is, thank you, Aaliyah. Pretty cool. Uh, so the, the was it today's date is the 26th. We're, we're running out of time in October. This is great. And um, you want to definitely put that uh, header in there. So it's your name, All right? Not my name, but yours. And uh, 26. October 2020. Uh, period is uh, fifth, the last period of day. How glorious is that? Intro to engineering. Get these things set up so you're ready to rock and roll. Those parentheses, and I'm going to blow it up for you guys, right? So let's do this. It's really small, right? All right. Let me stop this clock. That's not what I wanted. Come here. Stop. All right. Go away. Uh, for a moment. Word of the day. <laughs> yeah. Huh? <laughs> Tell about go away. <laughs> it was in my way. Yeah. I'll go away. Uh, 150. Guess you guys can see. And, um, oh, I didn't make this size 14 because I don't know how big it is on your screen. 
Okay, so these are the things you want to start your document off with. But I'm going to pause here because we have to do our norms, right? Everybody who's a Camelot student, or is, I've been working here six years. This is my sixth year. We always got to do our norms, right? So let's get into it. Otherwise, Banky, Tillery, all of them be like, now you know, let me get with you. You know, you know, I don't, I don't want to do all that. <laughs> um, so 150. I don't feel like doing all that. You're yelling at me. Um, okay, so let's see who's in the room because somebody else just walked in here and I stopped the timer. Oh, there's Autumn. See all these people trying to beat the buzzer. That's Perry that just came in. Who else is that? I just saw Autumn's name fly across the screen. Let me go back and add. There's Autumn. Okay. Welcome to class, Miss Hall. How was your weekend, Miss Hall? Get your butt <laughs> to class on time. So. <laughs> All right, so she's present. Uh, Perry is present. Let me see who else is in this list before we start our norms. Okay. You said what, uh, Autumn? I said it was decent, I guess. It, it was decent? Dang. You kids too young to be sounding like old people. You're decent. Yeah. Sound like sound like my grandmother. All right. Um, we're missing Jalen, mm -hmm. India Tyler, Martin Valencia, Journey Walls, Mark Weber, Davion Williams, Mia Wilson, all absent. I got Perry present, Aaliyah present, Shea Little's absent, Kennard, she's usually here. Uh absent. Paris Hall absent. Autumn Hall present. Janiah Greer absent. Uh, Mr. Gray is present. Jontez Goss absent. Chris Flores absent. Edward Dooling is another one. He's usually here. Edward Dooling absent. Corny Dixon absent. We had some rough weekends. Shamar Davis. I saw him in GGI. What the heck? Uh, absent. Jamar Davis absent. Curry. Uh, David Curry absent. Christopher Clark absent. Brian Bustamante absent. Michael Brown absent. Angeline Bravo absent. Claudia Benavente absent. Khalees Bailey absent. Adam Bergardo absent. Now. That serves as roll call. Submitting to office. All right. So norms. Let's start in the first in the list. Uh, Miss Mims, can you read number one? Aaliyah. She go back in the kitchen and start cooking or something. Aaliyah, are you there? All right. She stepped away. Autumn, can you read number one? No one has the right to hurt another person. Thank you, Miss Hall. Mr. Gray, number two. You was talking to me, Miss Tyler. I sure was. Where did you go? Hello? See? So you over there turn it up. I want you to read number one. Can you read number two? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? She's having difficulties. Go ahead, Gray. Read number two. Education in the classroom my sacred. All right. Number three, that would be Miss Archie. Hello? It, Aaliyah, you still... You probably need to come back in and out. We will never behave in a way that we'll discredit ourselves, our school, or our family. Thank you, Ms. Archie. Mr. Pr uh, Perry, can you read number four? Uh, number four is out of Telecata, you Southwest student is always a lady or a gentleman. Thank you, sir. Uh, we're going back to the top with uh, Leah. Are you back and able to hear me? She's still having difficulties, huh? All right, uh, number five, Autumn. We take pride in Excel Academy of Southwest. You don't sound like you take pride in it, but okay. Aaliyah, no, we can't, and I'm going to call her. Uh, so next would be our uh, academic norms. So so no Aaliyah, are you hearing us or no? Guess not. Autumn, number one. We respect the opinions of others. Thank you. We can hear you. Her no, we can hear you, but um, can can you hear us. Leah, can you hear us? Uh huh. Oh, you're back. Okay, read number two. Can you see it? We respect the culture of the classroom. There she goes. She fixed it. All right, let's go to the next person. That'll be Mr. Gray, number three. We are attention to participate. Thanks, sir. Uh, Archie, number four. We have high expectations of ourselves, our peers, and our teachers. 
Yes, we do. All right, Mr. Perry, the last one, sir. We are here to focus on preparing ourselves for post-secondary endeavors. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. All right, so those participation points have been listed. Uh, you guys are going to need to tell me for an additional 15 points, that's five points per uh, post-secondary endeavor, what are they? Now you type in the chat what they are. I don't want you screaming it all at once. But who remembers what are the post-secondary endeavors? It's very important because a lot of you guys are high school students. Trade school, college. Trade school, college, and military. Very good, Aaliyah. Quick with the response. She got the 15 points. She remembers. And Aaliyah's a senior, so you should have that mapped out, especially uh, any senior in the room. Jalen, welcome to class, sir. Where did you go? I was like, he's usually here. Hello. 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 Long weekend, huh? Yep. <laughs> okay. Y'all all getting in here late. Okay. So, all right, let's get started on the meat and potatoes of today, right? So, Everybody should be logged into ESB and have your screen size as I do. All right. Does everybody have that done? You want to be on one screen, one window, logged into your engineering class, fifth period. And on another screen, at least establish a Google Doc like I have. So take a moment to get that done because I don't want you falling behind in the notes for today's assignment. All right. So let's recap. We have the title name. We have, of course, this here, which is going to be um, your header. And who can tell me what today's title is going to be? All you have to do is just look in ESB and see. Mr. Tyler, I already told you. That. You did. You did. You did. She about to cuss me out. You're right. You're right. So it's Mega Blaster, right? I just looked at the chat. Sorry. <laughs> we about to get on my case. Uh, so you want to put this in the center. Okay just like I have. And then let's not forget about the exit slip. This is making sure. Now, these words of the day, you're like, why are they exit slips? The student asked me I that. put the word of the day, too. Okay, okay, you want all the points, huh? Okay, give me a second. <laughs> this I word. I my grade to go up. I know you do, but you need to turn in some more work. <laughs> this word for five points. Those, these are little points. I mean, they help keep you teeter-tottering, but you guys got to turn in the work. And I've been working with y'all, but I got to turn in some more, huh? I don't know. I know everybody's stressing, but we got to put some work in. Or as jewels, as we call it, energy and work. So you have two parts. You have what Leah said. I think it's in the chat. Let me check what she said. Classroom term. I'm just typing it up for you guys. Of the day is, right? And then I think Leah said that. So, and then the other one is the word of the day is what? So let me go to the chat. And honor Miss Mims and what she said, and she sure did. So you may not notice it, but the classroom term is in brackets, and that is electric current. That's what Leah was giving you, right? It is a review because all this week, I think this is our final week before we start to start uh, creating our Bitmoji classrooms. And it's similar. I'm gonna talk about that at the end of the class, where you display your work. Now here's the, the caveat or the twist to this: if you don't create a, a Bitmoji classroom, you will have to take the final exam, okay? Let that just marinate. You will have to take the final exam if you don't create a classroom. And your classroom is pretty much going to have, let me put these terms in here for you, it's pretty much going to have uh, your three best works of the class. Now, if you're Aaliyah, she has, I think, what do we say, Aaliyah? Eight slides? No, seven slides, because she has an introduction slide that she has to create with her Bitmoji. Um, and this is the least of the I do this, too. She gave me for two times. So you got an initial slide, which is your introduction slide, and it shows your Bitmoji and talks about who you are and what you like to do, blah, 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 right? And then the next one is, of course, going to be the next three slides are going to be each slide is your best work with a video included, a YouTube video recording that you're going to do. And it explains your best works, like the, the problem, I mean, the, the, the assignments you got on a daily basis, the best ones. So you're going to look at your grades and you're going to see, okay, which one did I get 100% on? And that's going to be one of the slides. You need to choose three of those, okay? Or 100% or 90%, your best ones. Once you create that, you're going to demonstrate it to me during the test, and that'll be your final exam. If you don't do it, you wait till the last minute, all right? As y'all students say, I'm going to do it in the clutch. All right, well, you do that street stuff in my classroom, you're going to get an F. So please just 
two in advance, choose which one. Either study for the final exam, which I have ready that day, or have your classroom together. All right, so word of the day is what? I think it was fluctuate, Leah. Yeah, she said that. F-L-U-C, I can't spell today. Fluctuate. I think I got that right. Yeah, Google said you didn't get it wrong. Okay. <laughs> Who's laughing at me? Is that Gray? It must be, I know him. <laughs> All right, so the questions, right? Let's go back to SB and gather those. So in SB, you know, you got your townhouse link, GGI, in case everybody's asking, your friends are asking, how do I get to townhouse? It's the same link. Uh, it's from 840 to 850 for townhouse. And I think your GGI runs from 1120 to 1220. Okay. And this is the same link you use. Okay. That's in your EDSB. Uh, that's in all periods. I make sure it's visible at the top of your chronological list, which goes down. Next is your classroom link. This is always here. So I'm trying to go over this because we're coming into quarter two and I'm thinking everybody should be in the routine. Let's start with our first part of the agenda. So I'm going to grab this from Edsby and put it in the chat and someone will be able to read this for 20 points. So let me put this in the chat and uh, let me see who hasn't spoken yet. Let me go down my list. Mr. Perry, can you read what's in the chat from hello all the way down to Coulombs? Is he there? I guess he doesn't want the points. All right, uh, let me go to Jalen. Can you read that? Let's highlight it. Uh, the one that starts with hello in the chat. Oh, chat. Um, hello, I put you in secret problems. Uh, need to be completed and ready to present tomorrow in class. It's just problem have to be completed as homework. Uh, as homework can be checked tomorrow in class as well. Um, Keep going. This, the disk drive is purposely to play is connected to a battery that supplies with a current of 0.47 amps. How many electrons pass through the disk drive in 6.66 seconds? We call it a charger electron has a magnitude equal 1.60 star. Um, 10 to, 9, to the 19th power, Columbia. Col okay. Coulombs, very good, very good. All right, so you guys might remember this. We calculated Coulombs a week prior, but this is a review problem from Monday. All right, so you might want to scan your notes in your Google Drive and try to find it. All right, so that's the 1S or synchronous problem that Jalen was talking about, and we're going to do that together in a moment. But you have to also bear in mind you have an asynchronous problem, and that's 2A. So I'm going to have another student read this. I'm going to try to see if Perry is back at his uh, station. Uh, Mr. Perry, uh, you got 20 points for that, by the way, Jalen. Mr. Perry, can you read 2A all the way down to Zen? Sherrod, are you there? I see your head moving, but I don't know if you're there. All right. Let me go to somebody I'll else. Take it. Uh, who's that? Uh, Aaliyah? Me. Go ahead, go ahead and take them 20 points. What are we supposed to be reading again? In the chat, dear D. Tip. Hold on. Start with 2A. 2A. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can you pause your music? You got to turn it up with you. I can't hear My you. bad. Sorry. Whoa. Okay. A little spicy okay. over there. All right. Can you read 2A? A flashlight bulb <laughs> carries a current of 0 0.2. 256 amps. How much time required for 55.5 kilometers to pass through the bulb? Re please remember to get maximum credit. All calculation steps for the final answer to the problem needs to be uploaded to ASB via the same format that we have been using since the start of the quarter. The format is shown in a video. Type Google Docs converted to PDF. Stay safe out there, Zen. And Zen. Thank you, Aaliyah. So she got her 20 points for just reading that part. Now, what I'm doing currently, uh, students in, in class, I am putting the questions into the Google Doc, which is what you should be doing. I'm literally modeling what you're supposed to do, like right now, because we're going to do a share out after we get a good 
amount of notes and then you get to share your screen. If you don't, I have students like, I don't feel like sharing or, oh, I somehow deleted it. Okay, well, I'm gonna somehow delete the points you might've gotten in class, but please work with me during class. Don't, don't procrastinate, don't daydream. Work with me, type what I'm typing, take good notes because this quarter is almost over with. And if you just work hard at it, the quarter will fly by and you'll have a decent grade. But if you're, you know, daydreaming or lollygagging at home, because I know it's difficult to focus, you're going to miss a good portion of notes because the notes are going to help you with the homework problem and the quiz. You guys got a final exam next week in case you want to do your Bitmoji classrooms, by the way. And we're going to talk about how to do that next week. I think on Monday. Yeah, Monday we're going to talk about that. And then Tuesday is, I think, election day where we vote. So you don't really have to worry about that. And then after that, you have the final exam. And those two days is where you get to present your material. All right, so everybody see what I've done so far, right? I got, let's recap. What you should have on your screen and typed up so far is your document started, right? Google Doc, do now the date. That's, that's inside of here. A lot of students are turn, turn in untitled documents. I'm like, oh, they're gonna have a hard time on Friday finding what work they did. The next one is, your header, right? This is officially all parts of your grade. The title, and then the exit slip. This is not the complete exit slip. This is telling you what you gotta do to get the exit slip. You need the definitions of electric current and fluctuate. That's 25 points towards other scores. Uh, Leo's been taking advantage of that and a few other students, so that's helped them. Uh, however, you got your question. Now, I'm gonna ask real quick, who remembers how to start this problem off? No one? Um, do we supposed to find the unknown and the known? That's one part. Let me type that in. But before that, what notes are we going to use? Um, oh, yeah. we have 10 points. But it's something that goes before. It's our notes. What did we talk about last week? And this was last week, Monday. Who has notes in their Google Drive on this? This is me seeing who really turned in the work because y'all looking, y'all getting quiet on me. Hmm. <laughs> That's nothing. Y'all be sharing out. And it, oh, wait, wait, wait. Did Aaliyah, I get it? Yeah, Aaliyah, great job. It's almost correct. You got to raise that two there to a power of two. Good catch. Good catch, Aaliyah. Awesome. All right. So we're going to put this in the center. Aaliyah gave you your first set of notes. Put that right there, and I'm going to blow it up some. This is a review problem, guys. We're coming up on the final exam. Keep telling all my students, time waits for no one. Okay. So you should have this much set up this way, like I have. Like, Leah put it in there, but you see a second two? You got to raise that to the power of two real quick. Okay, now we have those notes. Wait a minute, Leah, this is second period. You're getting me confused, girl. That's not correct. I, That's second period, Leah, physics. Oh, dang. Hold on. Girl. I'm my notes. <laughs> I had to look like, how are we talking about mass with electricity? Wait, 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 wait hold on. So I'm going gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna to start you off with what you need. I'm going to give her about 30 more seconds, and I'm going to put it in the chat. Well, I'm going to put it on the screen first, and then put it in the chat. Okay, no one? Let me check the chat again. No ideas? My goodness. When y'all go to college or start a job, the, the employer's gonna ask y'all for notes and y'all gonna be sitting there. And they're gonna be like, oh, can't hire that person. They don't take good notes. We can't pay them a check, they can't pay attention. Okay, so if nobody knows, let's look hold on. Right. I think I found it, Mr. Tyler. Hold on. You, you sure? <laughs> I think I did. Say you getting your peers mixed up, Aaliyah. Come on, right, you get one more shot at it. I'm gonna wait one more second because <laughs> I was gonna give you about 35 points, but you, <laughs> you give me second period, fifth period, young lady. Let's see what she got. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Let me look. 
Is is that it? Uh, volts is equal to Newton p square. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Not this one, but close. Close. That's a different technique. Not exactly what I was looking for. So it starts with a delta in there, Aaliyah, right? So let me go ahead and do it because we, we don't have a lot of time. Lee, I'm going to give you about 30 points, not 35 points, but 30 points for giving a good try, though. Okay. So, all right. What are our notes? Well, let me show you. I'm gonna copy it to this document. You guys are lucky. The period prior is similar to you guys, and the notes are already done because I went through it with the class. All right, and I'm going to take a second and explain what happened here. So from last week, this is what we had, y'all. And put it in the chat too. But you got to edit the same way I've edited it here. Okay. So let me grab this. Um, come to the chat. And whoa, Autumn just put something in there that I was about to put. Okay, Autumn. I'll give you 10 of those points. All right. So pretty good. But here we are, right? So if you look at what I just posted, uh, Autumn posted one part of it. And that's what I was looking for a start. But here's the entire notes. Let's take a moment to put it in there. Okay, because we still have to do a simulation, guys. We didn't get a chance to do a simulation with uh, the last period, and if we don't have time for simulation, we'll probably do some tomorrow. Um, come to class because we're reviewing Wednesday's problem, and if you're wondering why is he reviewing it, I should give you an idea that not a lot of students did good or they just didn't turn it in. So we got a final exam, and I was like, we had to start here because they're just going to keep on failing it if we don't cover it. Only problem is the fun stuff like popsicle bridges and robotics, I, I can't get to because we're constantly reviewing material. So I, I think everybody has those notes. Make sure you edit the constant for um, electric magnitude or the, you know, electron or electric. Either way, um, make sure you raise this to the power of negative 19. Okay, so known and unknown values, what are they? And I'll scroll back up, but I just want to be mindful of the time because I want to see if anybody needs help with uh, part uh, the homework problem. A lot of students didn't do that one either. So let's go through the second part of notes. Your known and unknown values. We talked about that a moment ago, right? So what are some known values? All right, well, I'm going to take you through it slowly. So first, I'm going to put it in the chat, what you should have, and then you got to edit it the same way I edit it. If you don't understand, I'll go back and re-explain, but we this is, again, review of last uh, week, Monday. So here's the second part of notes, known and unknowns. And uh, yes, before you do it, don't just copy and paste it and throw it into your document. Edit it the same way because these are technical reports you would give in the later future. If you don't do it now, where you clean up your documentation, your documentation is going to always be sloppy, and no one wants to pay for sloppy work. It's like me installing an AC unit, and it doesn't get your house cold. You're going to be really mad at me, right? You're going to also ask for money, and I'm going to look at you sideways. I'm like, okay, you really think I'm going to pay you for that? Who's coming into the class? So let me put these notes in here for you guys. Okay, boom. There we go. That's how it should look when you edit it into your document. Don't copy and paste it, clean it up, and put it into your document correctly. All right, uh, Adam Bagardo. Oh my goodness. Welcome to class, dude. Where you been at? Oh, the hospital. You was what, dude? At the hospital. At the high school? Okay. Hospital. I can't say oh, it right. Though. Hospital. Okay. Then not, don't worry about that. Okay. I understand. I understand. You back, though. You good? All right. Give thumbs good, up. Something. Okay. All right, dude. <laughs> Stick around. Um, You came back. There's a lot to catch up on, but just stay there so it doesn't affect your attendance. You're here, though. That's the good part. All right. So uh, what was I saying? Let me go back and make him present. That's a, that's one of the veterans. I'm like, what happened to him? All right. Oh, you're a Blackhawks fan like me. How nice. 
All right. Um, <laughs> um, let's keep going, everybody. Uh, let's see here. Dude, you got a great spirit. Uh, so the known and unknown values, I put that in there. Uh, Adam, if you want to try to keep up with us, we're just doing reviews. So you're going to have to try to get all this documentation done if you can. Okay. okay. Go to documents. Uh, yeah, you got to go to Google Doc and you got to retype everything in here. And I'll try to feed you notes as best I can. But Okay, man. All right. Uh, so everybody has a known and unknown values. I'm put this in the chat again. Everything you should have. Because Adam just got here. So I'm going to do it one more time. And again, you have to make the notes look yeah, exactly. Hey, I'm, on, I'm on the iPad. My bad for socking. Who was socking? It's okay. I'm on, I'm on the iPad. Ooh, wait. That's going to be tough. Just make sure you log into Google and you can try to, I don't know, make it work. It's best to be on a computer, though. Oh, uh, can I screenshot? Yeah, you can screenshot, but you still got to type it up, though. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah. Uh, so I just put the notes again in the chat. And again, it has to be the same way I've done it. All right. I'm going to give you guys about five minutes or so to catch up. But I want to get these last few sections and explain some things. So let's go back to the beginning. How did I come up with all this? We, we talked about this last week, right? Uh, this is the problem that was read earlier in class. The electric current, I, right, is equal to the amount of charge, that's delta Q, divided by the amount of time, that's delta T. I, for current, is measured in amps. Delta Q is measured in coulombs, and delta T is measured in seconds. Those are measurements or dimensions of those values. The number of electrons is what the problem is asking you for, which is equal to the amount of charge, right, delta Q, divided by the electron magnitude constant. What is that? Well, electron magnitude constant or electric magnitude constant is E is equal to 1.6 times 10 raised to the negative 19 coulombs per electron. So far, so good, right? And then we go to our known values. Our known values are seen earlier on in the problem. So if you look up here in the problem, the synchronous in-class problem we're doing, the disk drive in a portable CD player is connected to a battery that supplies it with a current of 0 0.47 amps. That and it says it right there, current of, so that's I. So I put in my known values, I is equal to 0 0.47 amps. Delta T, where did I get that from? In my known values, what it says here, how many electrons pass through the disk drive in 6.6 .6 seconds? They give you a time, seconds is delta T, right? Amount of time. So I put that here in our known values. Lastly, you need, of course, the electron constant or electric constant. So that's E equals this number, right? That I just mentioned, and it's put in our known values. Lastly, what do we need to do to get this problem completed? What is the question asking? It's an unknown. Well, delta Q, we got to figure out because that wasn't given in our problem. So we're going to use a little bit of an algebra to figure that out. It'll be some number in Coulomb. So I put a question mark there. The other value is, of course, you have number of electrons, right? And that's N. Now, N is given by this equation here we're going to use later on. But let's go through how to get delta Q by itself using algebra or algebra. It's an Arabic word. All right, so next set of notes. Your strategy. So I'm going to give you this section because I want you to work on editing your section correctly. So I'm going to put that here and et voila, right? Now, notice you can't just put the same old thing. You can't copy and paste it. You got to edit it correctly. So for those of you taking screenshots and typing up later, make sure you pay attention to your screenshots and not just the chat. The chat will also be included in Ed's because I have chat transcripts I can give you guys. All right. So with that said, you start off with the equation for current. I is equal or equivalent to delta Q divided by delta T, All right? We talked about this. Now we got to solve for delta Q so using algebra. So to do that, the supreme rule of algebra is what you do to one side, you must inevitably do to the other side. And when I'm talking about sides, I'm talking about sides of the equal sign. So the first thing I did is I put parentheses around this division process, delta Q divided by delta T. And then I said, hey, what's the reverse process of division? That's going to be multiplication. 
Delta T divided by Delta T is equal to one. So let's see if we can check for understanding. Miss Archie, what is Miss Archie divided by Miss Archie equal to? Is she there? I don't see her no more. I see her name in the list. I said what? <laughs> she said you say what? What is Miss Archie divided by Miss Archie equal to? No. You said what? Call the cancel out Archie. They canceled out the what? I'm confused. How you going to answer with my Oh, name? well, Leah gave it to you. Uh, One, Miss Archie. Uh, you mean it's like I asked you a deep question. Uh, my fault. <laughs> it's all good. So it's one. And the reason it's one, I did this with Leah last period, I think, or the period I had her. Um, anything divided by itself equals one. So if I say A divided by A, that's one. If I say autumn divided by autumn, that's going to be equal to one. A lot of students say me. I'd be like, that's not right, y'all. All right, so <laughs> let's keep going. Um, so this, this is why it crosses out. That's why I made that point there. So delta T divided by delta T, because this delta T is in the bottom, it crosses out. And then what you do to one side, you do to the other, it's over here as well, because we that's the only change. We multiply both sides of the equation by delta T. New equation, you clean it up, remove the crossed out parts, and you now have this situation. All right, next step. Uh, we got to start putting our values in. We got the values from the known and unknown section. So we say, hey, what is I? I was 0 0.47 amps. Multiply by 6.66 .66 seconds. I got that from the known values. I'm just plugging everything in because we solve for Q or delta Q effectively here. Now we got to cross some things out. Amps divided by seconds creates automatically Coulombs. That's the known physics property. So I crossed out my amps to seconds in that next step, right? And then we clean it up by removing it. Okay, so do not cut no corners. You have to have all of these steps to get full credit. Okay, I think I've talked enough and you guys are ready for the next step of notes or do you need me to slow down and scroll up or scroll down? I'm looking at the time, it's 317. We got a little time to scroll up and scroll down if you guys didn't catch all that. Last period a student told me I was going too fast. Yeah, that's what happens when you work for the government for a nice little bit. Move very fast. Nobody needs me to slow down. I can keep going, or no? Slow up just a little bit. Slow up a little bit. I'm glad you said something because I was about to keep powering. So I'm. Um, how about this? I'm gonna give you guys about three minutes to catch up. You can tell me to scroll up, scroll down, because we do have share outs at the very end. And it's not just to leave early, it's for in-class points. This is a real big part of helping your grade, sharing out and having the work done. It actually saved a lot of students recently. So two minutes. I'm gonna run to the kitchen, get a cup of water, guys. I'll be right back. Guys and gals, my bad. Class, okay, get used to saying that.
All right, so let's continue on, right? There's enough time to get you guys caught up a little bit. You have all these components so far, so good. Okay, so where are we at? I didn't think a chicken pot pie would taste that good. That's interesting. Um, Over there smashing. <laughs> Stop it. You put um, some hot sauce on that. <laughs> some hot sauce? Oh, no. You're trying to mess my stomach up. <laughs> Y'all got younger stomachs. I can't do it. <laughs> hot curls and crunchy curls. Uh, so let's keep it going. I'm in my 40s. I can't do that. Um, I just turned for you. I'm not that old. Um, let's see. Right. So I give you all the strategy, right? The next part is, of course, once you have Delta Q, if you remember earlier on, you can come down here and solve for the number of electrons. So it's like one final step left. So let me give you those notes. You said you over there smashing. You darn right, brother. Uh, copy. Oh. I, I didn't eat, man. Y'all be keeping me busy. Like, jeez. All right, sorry, it's your job. You picked it. Yeah, oh, picked oh, that's my fault, right? Okay, I get it. I, I wouldn't have picked it. You got too much patience. Like, uh, I can do it. Yeah, well, I'm the oldest of four boys, and I'm a father, so that's what happened. And again, that is a black man, unfortunately. And I'm a mason, so you definitely don't get some patience there. All right, so N equals <laughs> delta Q over E, right? We talked about this earlier on, right? This part. So all I did is I took that and um, I started, <clears throat> so I started including things. And the things I include is one, when we calculate our Coulomb amount here, I plug it into this, right? Because that's delta Q, both of these are the same. And my apologies, I gotta make sure I include the calculator I use, which is math, Papa. So this is how you calculate it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it over one more time. Excuse me. But the thing you wanna make sure of is you cross out everything. So let me put this in the chat first. So you guys can start editing this and making it correct. And you can actually see it. That's what I'm putting in the chat because I know it's hard to see on my screen. I would give you guys a copy of the transcripts, but people just copy and paste, I'm done. I mean, they still get the problems wrong on Friday. I don't understand. But um, this way I can make sure you understood I did my part and you're not just copy and pasting your way through life. Um, so if you see in there, um, you got negative 19, right? It's not negative 19 in the chat. That's 10 minus 19. That's wrong. So you got to raise that up, right? Also, there are parts that cross out. So it's not a lot to do. You just got to take your time and do it. Okay? So I'm going to give you guys about three minutes to finish this. And then um, what I want to do real quick before I started the three-minute clock is you guys need to get in the habit of using some of these online calculators like Math Papa, Symbol App, or even just Google. Now, the best way to do this when you have raised exponents is not Google, but it is Math Popper or Symbol app. So I'm going to go from the beginning and type in what you do, because you probably need to use this for the homework problem, 2A. So what does that look like? That's going to be, uh, what do we say, 3.13. Well, first press division, because you want to turn it into a fraction, right? And then you press 3.13. My apologies. I didn't even put the Math Popper link into the chat so you guys could use it. So that's the link for Math Papa itself. All right, so I typed in 3.13 after I hit the division button. And that's just that little slash that does division. Next, you want to type in what's underneath the 3.13. I'm talking about what we did in our notes here and also in the chat. So divided by 1.60 multiplied by 10, right? And it's raised. I hold shift and press 6 on my keyboard. And that raises it. It's like a little carrot. It's called. It raises it to a power. You can't do that in Google Docs. You actually raise it with subscript, I mean superscript in the, the formatting. So that's the negative 19. Right? I hit uh, over key, the directional key over to the right. Do it again because I want to close the parenthesis bracket. Now it's considered a process. So hit calculate. And this is the answer. This is how it looks here, too. These two mean the same thing. If you can't see it, this is what it looks like. So you have, you know, step by step. If you don't understand that, but in the solve, the answer you're going to put is now. If you imagine is a dot right here, because it really is, is a decimal right there. You move that decimal over 19 times. 
and that's how they get the answer of 1.96 because this this five is rounded to a six here 1.96 times 10 raised to the 19th power electrons okay so that's what it looks like it just looks different and weird because there's an underlying feature there so we turn that off this is the final answer so that's your final answer and how it should look okay so i'm going to leave uh this up for about three minutes and then we're going to quickly talk about how to set up the homework problem and do share outs you should have almost as much as i have typed up because there's 45 points that you have to try to earn every day to at least boost the score up a grade late uh, a, a, a grade letter and that means doing all parts and participating because we're coming towards the end or the finish line you guys all got opportunity to bring it up one great grade level all right so three minutes let me know if I got to scroll up or down and we'll go from there I'm gonna work on this chicken pot pie while y'all do that but I'll be right here
I wasn't even talking. That's so sad. All right. So what I'm talking about is this slide deck. Let me give you guys a slide for it. It's inside of Esby, and it's this link here. All right. So I'm going to grab this for you guys. Yeah, this is the right one. Yeah, because this is the actual one I, I did. And uh, again, you, what I was saying was you can't really destroy it or anything or hurt it. Just go through and get uh, comfortable with it. It's for all classes, but your class uh, primarily is CTE or career technical education. You guys are learning trade skills. You're learning about post-secondary endeavors and towards in terms of all three pathways: military, college, and um, trade. Because engineering applies to all facets of those post-secondary endeavors. So if I click here on myself, and you can follow along if you have it running. You click on CTE. And uh, this is not the correct agenda, but if you go to physics, this is the correct agenda. So uh, we got the classroom term. We talked about that. It's not force. For you guys, it's electric current. But the word of the day is fluctuate. And then uh, objective will always be in the middle somewhere, right? So today's objective, let me tell you what it was. Apparently, that didn't update for me, and that's an issue. It will work out. Note to self, reboot your computer towards the middle of the day because it starts acting screwy. I think it's an overheating issue. Give me one second, guys and gals. So you're doing electricity, and the objective was using basically the uh, definition of electric current. So here we go. Bingo, found it. So this is the SWBAT for you guys today. And I'm going to have a student read it so you guys know what it's about. Just wanted to make sure I talked about. And by the way, that classroom is kind of what your class is going to look like. If you have a Bitmoji, you're going to set up your three pages besides your intro page. And your Bitmoji will be in there. And you have a recording where you're talking about the problem and what you understood about the problem and why you did so good on the problem. Three slides. So it's four, actually. But for some students, it's up to seven because they have to be for two times. Uh, let's see here. So let me have... Let me look down the list who's available. Me? This is me, uh, Leah. Go ahead. Okay, hold on. Students will be 3 able to analyze... PM. 3 3 3. Students will be able to analyze the connection between the electric field and the electric potential. Thank you, Miss Mims. Right. You're welcome. So, um, that's the objective. I kind of wonder if that's Monday's objective, but it's cool. You still get the points. Uh, anyway... Let's go through this, right? Uh, we have share outs. We have six minutes of class left. We're at that crunch period. We share out. Uh, all I want to say about the um, come here, the homework problem, before I forget, is you need to understand you have in your known values your current and you have your delta Q. So you have to solve for delta T using algebra. You are problems. So who's ready to share out? We have five more minutes to see if everybody can get their points. Don't share out. You got to wait till 340 with me until it's time to go. And I'm going to tell you about how you can get your points tomorrow. So Leah, since you have the music on and turning my class into a club, can you share first? You said me? Yeah, you. But yeah, while we listen to your music, can you present your screen, please? Now she's gonna turn it down. I guess I'm. Can you share your screen, Aaliyah? <laughs> Thank you, Aaliyah. Sideways, Aaliyah. Sideways. My bad. Hold on. You keep forgetting to do that. There you go. Turn it sideways, little lady. There you go. All right. Can you hit the return button so I can see all your work? Did it go away? It didn't even go away. Dang. Oh, well, I thought you had it. Okay, so just scroll up and down, Lee. I'll take a look. I don't know how to work this iPhone 11. I'm new to this. You should be working a laptop. My Sit laptop here. broke. My little brother broke it. Okay, well, then you, you and your brother going to have to have some conversation. You missing your title? Uh, uh Well, yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. Exit slip. I don't see it. Or did I see it? Okay, so you got look like you got all the notes. You got everything crossed out correctly, Leah. No, I'm not finished yet. Okay, so work on that. You got till 8 p.m. to turn in everything, and don't forget to do the second problem. That's that makes it 100, percent not just one problem. That's all I have for you, Leah. You're free to go. I'll see you tomorrow. All right.
right. Trying all those assignments, little girl. Uh, okay, who's I will. Next? Me. Okay. Uh, who's me? Who said me? Jalen? No, me. Oh, Gray. Okay, I just had to turn my screens. Go ahead, Gray. Uh, I don't like a old man. Mm -hmm. So while Mr. Gray is getting ready, you all should be getting your screens ready. Now, this is not just to leave early. This is for 45 points towards your in-class score for today. Okay, turn it sideways. You can't turn it sideways. But you got it. There you go. Okay, yeah, you got a lot done, dude. All right. Just make sure you edit it correctly. Uh, did you do 2A? Is that what I saw? Yeah. Okay, just make sure you do 2A correctly. Solve for Delta T. All yeah. right. Um, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Turn it in by 8. We got two minutes of class left. Uh, if you don't have anything to share, I just think it's fuck JC. Hellcat is an SRT. Who's playing music? Make a 55 suck, JC. You want to menage with a new body? Oh, that's Autumn, okay. Hold on, Autumn. Where's your exit slip in your title, dear? Hold on. Hold the fuck up when I hit it. Hey, hey, they're cussing, Autumn. Put that on pause. There you go. Yeah, I can hear all that. Stop that. Yeah, yeah, see? Like Money got to go. Come on, girl. Frankie was right. Perry, mute, mute yourself for a second, sir. Uh, title. Thank you, Perry. And uh, I'm just telling you what you got to do. You ain't do it now, um, Autumn. What about how many? How much of the notes have you gotten? She going to type it now. Autumn. <laughs> Scroll down. She said, I'm going to do it before I forget. Your notes go in the center. But the known and unknowns are to the right. Okay. And you got the rest? Yeah, I think you do. You got to fix that negative 19 part, though. It's raised to the negative 19. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Okay. So don't forget to download and send it in, Autumn. And I'll grade it. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget that second problem, either. All right. Give it a try. Uh, let's see. Who's next? In the list, we have uh, Adam. You can leave and come back to class tomorrow. I didn't have time to help you out with anything, but thank you for staying. So good to see you. Uh, we got Jalen, uh, Kanasia, and Perry. Who would like to go next? Now it's three thirty-nine, so you can present tomorrow morning's class or tomorrow evening's class, or you can present now and get it out the way. Either way. That 45 points will be there until tomorrow's class. Because that's what I meant by the start of the next class, you get to present. Oh, Sherrod is sharing. Okay. See if he gets his 45 points for today. Uh, right. Pretty good, dude. You're missing your exit slip, though. So go back and watch the video and do that. But you got all the notes, uh, Perry? Like at the bottom? He's trying to type it in, it looks like. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think yeah, I saw it. You moved too fast, but I think I saw some of the notes. So uh, just finish up the second problem. Give it your best shot, and I'll see you tomorrow, dude. Turn it in before 8, Perry. Everything. So who's next? Uh, Archie, are you there? Uh, Jalen, are you there? Do you guys feel like you want to share now or tomorrow? I mean, you'll come into class and be like, all right, where's your work at? And I'm going to ask you for it. That's going to be your in-class points that you're recovering from yesterday. Okay, Bucardo left. So you two want to share or you want to wait till tomorrow? Because it's 341. What I'm going to do is ask you, what did you have yesterday? To see if I can give you those points back. Kanasia, Jalen, you there? Okay, you're nodding, but you ain't saying nothing. You're not saying nothing, dude. Are you able to share? Yeah, I'll just uh, take some pictures um, of the chat because um, I got everything down. I just, because the way um, Microsoft you got everything? put it. Yeah, I got everything. But the way Microsoft Word put it in a weird way, so All I right. have to edit it on my own time. But I got everything down. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, turn it in, Jalen. I don't want you falling behind. I see you doing a lot of I'll work. I'll present real quick, hmm? though. 
I got everything. Here. Yeah, go ahead. It's just not in it. um in right order. Yeah, like you being a perfectionist, oh, like, yeah. you, you don't like the way it looks. I mean, it's bad. Like, yeah. it's all but together, though. I have to, brother. Um, brother, this is not environmental science. That's Miss Lane's class. Oh, <laughs> hey, which one? This one, then. I mean, um, this this is intro. To, you don't know where you at. Oh, yeah. Intro to engineering, brother. Okay. Intro to engineering, Doc. Come on. <laughs> Like, I'm, you, she must have put a number on you. Got you thinking about environmental science in my class. Um, Intro to engineering. Just who? Oh no! This is with an E. Yeah. There you go. Well, A E N G. E N G. Uh huh. Help me out. Engine. E N G I N E R. Two E's. E. Yeah, you got three E's though, fam. My keyboard sensitive. I know. I see. It. I see. It. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so so far so good. But you got the notes, right? Yeah, I got everything. I just need to. It just look bunched up because the way. Okay. So put you it. have access yeah. to the video about four thirty, I hope, and go through that, and then I'll put the chat transcripts in there too. So you got snapshots. I get it, but I'll put that in NSB so you can review it. All right. All right. 8 p.m. Both problems. Turn them in, Jalen. Don't forget. Okay. See you in class tomorrow, dude. All right. Bye. Good evening. Kanasia, what's happening? Are you there? I just see a blurry screen, Kanasia. Are you there? Hmm. Miss Archie, are you with us? Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to have to catch up with her tomorrow.